Hello friends, welcome back to ccf.net online training video series. Today and in our few upcoming videos, we are going to discuss few important concepts. That is event, delegates, lambda expressions and anonymous methods. In this series, we are going to discuss mostly three important concepts. Not only these are most important concepts, but also you can consider these are the most confusing concepts. What are these? Event delegates and lambda expression. So we will understand what are these concepts how they work in application development. Why it is important, why I'm going to keep focus on this concept, because over the years, students, many beginners level developers, even experienced developers, they find it very difficult to understand this event delegate lambda expression concept. Even in my initial days, when I started programming, I also found it very difficult to understand this concept. So the goal of this series of videos is to provide a big picture of how event delegates, lambda expression, and anonymous methods are used in C -sharp. To take full advantages of this uh, event delegates and lambda expression concept, you should and you must have good experience of C -sharp books concept. Right? So if you look at our course syllabus, uh, as of now, we have completed this chapter one, introduction to environment setup. We have completed this chapter two, that is csf.net basics. Here we have discussed what is method, what is variable operator, looping statement, jumping statement, right? Static keyword, boxing, unboxing, all these things we have completed in chapter two. And this is the chapter three, which is nothing but your OOPS concept. And you should complete this one before proceeding event handling. Because most of the concept of what we discussed in OOPS concept, right, that are going to be used in our event delegates and a lambda expression series, right? So you should have very good experience on this OOPS concept. We have also completed this exception handling. And now we are going to focus on chapter five, that is event delegates lambda expressions. Now, so how I'm planning this uh, series of videos, right? So we will start uh, uh, first, first we will discuss what is the role of event delegates and event handler. So you will understand the role of each of these, how they work together in .NET framework. Next, we will talk about how to create events, how to create delegates, how to create event arguments, right? Here, we are going to discuss what is delegate, how to integrate a delegate with the events, what is the role of a custom event classes, all these things we are going to discuss, right? Once we discuss what uh, role and how to create all these things, then we will discuss about event handling. Right, that is handling how, how you can handle the events. Here we will create a class that will expose one or more events and how we can consume those events from other classes. We will try to understand, uh, also we will try to understand the different techniques of how we can consume the events, right? And finally, we will talk about uh, uh, two important concepts that is anonymous method, right? And then we will see how we can uh, they replaced an anonymous method with lambda expression. So basically what is our planning is, our planning is this. So this is our course uh, structure of event delegate and lambda expression, right? How, now first we'll discuss role of event delegates and event handler. Then we'll discuss event concept. Then we'll discuss what is multicast delegate. Then we'll discuss what is what delegates real time example. Then we'll discuss this generic delegate concept, right? Right. Once we discuss generic delegate concept, then we will discuss events. Right. Once we discuss events, then we will discuss anonymous method. And once we discuss anonymous method, then we will discuss lambda expression. And with this, we will complete our chapter five. Right. So in the next video, what we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss the role of event delegates and event handler in detail and this is most important because in in the next video only i am going to explain the concept right what i am explaining in the next video that i am going to use from the video number three right that's it for today thank you for watching this video